Hey guys, welcome back to Nostalgia Lane. It's me, Riley, and I'm back with a pickups video. This is a pretty large one. Uh, this goes back from uh, like early August to now, which is like October, mid October. So, got like three months worth of pickups here. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so starting off here, we've got Goodwill pickups. Um, I got Band Fuse Rock Legends uh, for $4.99. It's like a $12 game, so can't beat it. I got a PS2 controller. It works and it's in pretty good shape. Um, a little story with this. Uh, some lady, uh, she was kind of older. She was buying a big flat screen TV and uh, I offered to carry it to her car for her because uh, the lady behind the counter was just kind of trying to stuff it into a cart and uh, I mean I just I didn't want her to damage it after she had just paid like probably like 50 bucks for it I'm guessing so I offered to carry it out uh, for her and in exchange she offered to buy this controller for me so uh, she insisted and uh, so you know I went with it and I, I carried the TV out and she uh, came back and bought bought my five dollar controller for me so uh, you know thanks a lot randomly um, I was just trying to help and uh, thanks a lot for helping me back. I'll definitely pay it forward. Um, so thank you. That's it for Goodwill. All right, before we get too into the video game stuff, I'm gonna talk about music for a sec. Um, now the other day, my coworker Casey, uh, he's the painter I work with, um, stopped at a antique store on his day off and was walking by and uh, saw this in the records. Um, and he sent me a picture of it and I knew right away that I needed to have it. So, I got KISS, Double Platinum, Greatest Hits Album. Uh, this is original. It's uh, double double sleeved. I can't remember what the official name is for the two uh, openings there. But it's got all their faces in Boston there and the song names. Um, they put their own kind of like pop disco style into uh, some of the songs. Like uh, Strutter 78 is what they call it. It's just kind of got more, uh, more of a disco beat to it. Um, and some of the songs are kind of mixed and like shortened a little bit, but they had reprints of this, but it didn't have the double opening and uh, it didn't have their faces embossed. It just had pictures in there. So super awesome. Anything that's Kiss, that's original vinyl, I'm definitely wanting to uh, collect because uh, I mean, Kiss is my favorite band, as you guys know, and such a find. Casey, thanks a lot, man. All right, back to video games. Um, let's see. Laura's little brother, Clay, he hooked me up with some Game Boy games. Uh, he just didn't want them anymore. He doesn't have a Game Boy. So, uh, he, he was just gonna, you know, get rid of them. And I told him that I would take them and sell some of the games that he didn't want. So, I sold some of them for him. And, uh, I got to keep some pretty awesome games. Um, starting off, uh, we got Shark Tale. Uh, I owned this originally as a kid, and I was super ha happy to have it back because uh, it's actually a pretty fun game. You you know play as Oscar, and you know it's kind of kind of a beat 'em up, and there are a few like time time trials in there, so it's definitely interesting. Um, just for the nostalgia of the movie, I wanted to add uh, Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo to the collection because why not? They're Pixar awesome Disney movies from my childhood so definitely gonna add those um, we also got uh, definitely the highlight <laughs> just kidding it's a let's ride sunset stables sunshine stables um, <laughs> funny story I just wanted to uh, point this one out because I was gonna get rid of it but I asked Laura because it was her game and I asked her if I could get rid of it and she gave me this look and said no so into the collection it goes let's ride sunshine stables uh, he loves Harry Potter. Um, I like the movies. I can't really get into the games, but I didn't want to get rid of them because he put so much time into these, and I know that he loved these games, so I'm going to put them in my collection. We got Harry Potter. I think this is Sorcerer's Stone. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Uh, this one's my favorite movie, so, um, you know, that's pretty cool to add that. So, Harry Potter games. Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. 
for the more exciting games. These are pretty cool. Um, we got a classic NES series, Donkey Kong, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness and Pac-Man World, the duo pack there, Spyro, Season of Ice, and Spyro 2, Season of Flame. I'm super interested to see how the Spyro games play on like a Game Boy. I haven't ever tried them, so I'm gonna give them a shot. We also got the Crash and Spyro Super Pack. I'm not sure what this is about, but I'm guessing it's just, you know, a double pack with two games on there. Um, and this is the, the heavy hitter. Um, super awesome to see that he had this game and that he was wanting to give it to me. Uh, so here it is. We got Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. Super hard to find a, a Fire Emblem game that's from the uh, older, older stuff. Um, so we got Fire Emblem. Super cool. Thanks a lot, Clay, for uh, for giving me these games. Uh, they're in a good home. They're in my collection. Uh, you can play them whenever you want. So thanks a lot, buddy. Um, super awesome to add those. All right, next up we've got Mercari pickups. All right. So uh, there there are quite a few. I had the Mercari bug uh, these last few months. So. Um, we're just gonna jump right in. To start us off, we got Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham on the Wii U. Um, I got this for $5 with free shipping. So, I mean, that's the cheapest you can get a game on Mercari. So I figured, why not? Five bucks, a Wii U game. Halo 4 Steelbook, um, you know, with, uh, you know, the case and the two discs. No manual, I'm not sure if there was one with it. I'm guessing there was, but, um, unfortunately, the case got damaged in transit. It's bent and like dented everywhere. <clears throat> but uh, Mercari comped me for you know the damage, and so they gave me the game for free. And the seller got money for it too. So it was a win-win for both of us. Um, free game. You know, it's it's kind of kind of sad to display like this dented um, case, but you know I'll definitely upgrade it eventually. So. There's Halo 4. We also got some uh, cases only, um, you know, because I want to try and piece together a few games. Just because, I mean, they, I got these for a good deal. Uh, I got them for 10 bucks, and uh, they're good games to piece together because they're sort of expensive, and people ask like crazy amounts for some of these. So um, I got case only for Star Fox Assault. I'm definitely piecing this one together because uh, almost a year ago I got. The manual only um, so I was looking for a case finally got one for a good deal so now I'm just looking for the disc itself so piecing together Star Fox Assault on the GameCube um, there's that I remember playing this one at Target um, on the demo uh, that they had you know at the little kiosk so uh, that's a little nostalgia fact nostalgia lane um, we also got the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess on the Wii, just the case. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the original case because it's, it's clear. Wii games are typically typically in a white case, so I'll definitely swap this out if I figure out that it wasn't a white case. I'm not sure if it was in a clear one or not, so Twilight Princess case only. Um, Super Mario Galaxy 2, I want to piece together. I have a poster for it, but uh, not a manual or a game, so I'll definitely piece this one together eventually. Or if I find like a complete one, then I'll probably upgrade and just you know get rid of the case. But you know, for ten bucks, I wanted to pick out a few cases that I thought I could piece together. And uh, I also got Crash Tag Team Racing, the case only. I had a loose copy, so I'm finally able to take that out of the loose disc binder and put it in the case and display it on my shelf. So yeah, Tag Team Racing on the PS2. It's a pretty fun game. Um, you, you obviously you play as Crash, and you get to run around between the levels and select like which race you want to do. There's battling and all sorts of different things, and you still collect the Wump of Fruit and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And you do kind of little mini quests too. It's a it's really it's kind of in depth. It's more than just a racing game. So I'm super stoked to add this one to the collection. All right, so this here this is a uh, bundle that I picked up it was originally three loose GameCube games 
um, that were described as working, but they ended up not working. Well, they, some of them worked on the Wii. So I messaged the guy and he wanted to make it right and he hooked me up with a good deal on some more games. So in that whole deal here we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, the disc only. If you guys remember I got the case by itself at Goodwill so this is another piece together. Crash Tag Team Racing on the GameCube Blue so definitely gonna piece this one together like the PS2 version. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. This one is almost complete it's got actually I think this is complete just doesn't have the uh, cover on the manual so yeah we got disc 1 and 2 for that one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 um, Mutant Nightmare uh, this is the disc 2 only and it's pretty beat up but I mean uh, this was gonna be hard to piece together too because it's a uh, disc 2 so that means I need to find disc 1 a manual and a case I don't know if I'll be able to do it maybe I'll find one that's in better condition but in the loose disc sleeve binder goes for now in hopes of maybe completing it eventually I'm super stoked to add this one to the collection Shadow the Hedgehog I've never played Shadow the Hedgehog but it's you know it looks pretty fun uh, you get to play a shadow and kind of know the backstory of why shadow is Sonic's rival and stuff like that so yeah that's that pickup. Also from Mercari, I got Ratchet and Clank Size Matters, which was uh, originally released on the PSP and then they wanted to bring it to the PS2. Not as smooth as the other Ratchet and Clank games, but I'm still going to play it because I love Ratchet and Clank. Speaking of Ratchet and Clank, I also got Up Your Arsenal. Super awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited to finally complete my Ratchet and Clank collection on the PS2. Um, these games are great. I remember playing the demo for the original Ratchet and Clank at Target when my grandma and little sisters would want to go shopping and take forever. I'd just go to the video game section and play the uh, PS2 kiosk that they had and uh, Ratchet and Clank was one of those and I would spend hours doing that. I loved it. Ratchet and Clank has a huge nostalgia part of my heart and uh, super stoked to add this to the collection. Also on Mercari, like I said I had the Mercari bug. I got a good deal on the DK Fight Pad for the Wii U. Uh, this one is unopened and uh, in the box still, so super cool. I think uh, the only ones I need are Luigi, Peach, uh, Bowser, I think there's a Wario one, and there's even like a Zero Suit Samus one. So I've, I've got a ways to go, but I'm definitely super stoked to have the DK Pad. And last but not least for Mercari, we got the... Uh, Pink PS3 wireless remote. I got this for Laura because she wants to have pink controllers of every system, you know, that she can play with. So, added the pink PS3 one. So yeah, that'll do it for Mercari. Next up is a uh, GameStop. So at one of the stores, they do a buy two get one free on pre-owned games. That includes Wii U. So. <laughs> oh. He doesn't want to be here. <laughs> so in that buy two get one free, I got Mario Tennis Ultra Smash on the Wii U. Um, yes, definitely, like I said, looking for Wii U games to add before they get off the shelves at GameStop. And if I get them for a good deal, I'm definitely going to do that. So, there's Ultra Smash. I've never played a Mario Tennis game, especially not one with motion controls. So, I'm super excited to see what this one's like. Um, we also got Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. As I just said, I love Ratchet and Clank, so I'm definitely looking to play this one soon. Another Wii U game was Pikmin 3. I've never played the Pikmin games, um, just because I've never owned them. So, uh, I wanted to get this Pikmin 3 because I have two sealed copies of the Nintendo Select version but I wanted like first release of it because I, I, I just think that looks cooler um, funny story about Pikmin uh, another thing from Target I would play the GameCube uh, kiosk that they had and I would play Pikmin 2 for hours that's just another game that I uh, played at Target I don't have it on the GameCube but I definitely want to eventually um, so yeah, Pikmin. Alright, also at GameStop, uh, we're going to the Switch now. So, 
I picked up Happy Birthdays uh, for the Switch. Um, this cover just caught my eye. I mean, look at that cover. I mean, you got dinosaurs on there. You got woolly mammoths, triceratops, just super, super cool. Anything that has like dinosaurs on it just intrigues me. I've always loved dinosaurs ever since I was a kid. They're just my favorite thing. Um, this game is really interesting, actually. It's about evolution. You know, it's about changing the environment and uh, the altitude of the land to try and get things to evolve and change and go and st extinct. And uh, the ultimate goal is to try and create humans. Um, so you do that by raising and lowering the land to raise the temperature or lower it to get things to evolve. And um, it's pretty fun. Uh, I like the graphics. Um, you play as a little sprite that flies around. Um, it's pretty cool. If you want to just play a game where you don't really have to think too much and you just kind of want to pass the time, this is definitely the game for you. Um, I have a lot of fun playing this. Um, it's super interesting. So pick it up if you find it. Speaking of the Switch, also from GameStop, uh, we played Super Mario Party with Terry. He uh, got that. Um, and he brought it over to play and we were using the joy cons and you know they're just so small in your hands that uh you know the negative and positive buttons are pretty hard to push so we thought it'd be a good idea to pick up the uh little joy con controllers that you just put in there and use as regular ones and uh, makes it a little bit easier to push those buttons so cool stuff we got mario and luigi with those so yeah you gotta love the free stuff from gamestop as well um we got some Fallout stuff. We got Fallout 76 sticker. This is number two of three. I'll probably, I might give this to Terry if he doesn't already have it. Cause I, I know that he has number one. So uh, Terry, this is yours, uh, come claim it. <laughs> um, we also got a Fallout 76 lanyard, which is pretty cool. It also has the release date on there, November 14th. We also got the uh, Spyro Reignited Trilogy on the poster. <laughs> Looking forward to this one coming out uh, pretty soon, but I mean, that's a pretty badass poster, so I'm going to hang that up pretty soon. I'm kind of running low on wall space, so I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but it's definitely going to be up soon. All right, that'll do it for GameStop. Um, next, we've got a little gift from Terry uh, for my birthday. He got me this uh, Nintendo Switch case. It's just like little pit stop brands. Like, uh, you know, Undead Motors or Burning DK. Like, it's just super cool that they made little motor oil brands and stuff like that for Mario Kart. So, thanks a lot, Terry. This is super awesome. Definitely going to put my Switch in this and carry it around. <laughs> These next pickups are from Facebook. So, this is meeting people in the flesh and doing the old handshake. Thanks a lot. Have a good day sort of thing. The first one... Here is the uh, is a PS2 bundle. This guy was selling, trying to sell his whole PS2 collection. He was wanting like $300 for it. I did not buy that. So uh, I just wanted to pick out the games that I wanted and the ones that I could get for 30 bucks. So we got Thrillville off the rails. I love my uh, roller coaster tycoon type games and Thrillville is awesome. You get to uh, run around the park and ride the rides and play the arcade games that you can uh, do and you just overall trying to make the best theme park possible and make your guests happy i like those kind of games and uh, i've never played the sequel so i'm definitely going to pop this in and play it i like my thrillville roller coaster games so yeah we got crash of the titans we got arctic thunder i got this one because of the nostalgia that arctic thunder holds with me uh I would go to Fuddruckers as a kid and they would have the Arctic Thunder arcade game and you'd sit on the snowmobile thing and have the turbo button and the throttle and the boost. I remember that red blinking boost button. And uh, I'm not sure if the PS2 game is similar to that or not, but I just wanted to add this because of the nostalgia that Arctic Thunder holds with me. I'm definitely going to give this a shot. Simpsons Hit and Run on the PS2. I love the hit and run games and this was the original console that I played Simpsons Hit and Run on with. It was uh, with my cousins Connor and Kobe in Iowa and we would even set up a camera in front of the screen to record us playing it because we just loved this game so much and it was totally hilarious, fun to play, 
I know, we were the original game capture guys, so <laughs> super awesome memories with this game. And the last game that I picked up for 30 bucks, which was six apiece, um, was Leisure Suit Larry on the PS2. You guys know what this one's about. I'm not going to get into it, but <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry, hilarious game. All right, so that's the first Facebook deal bundle pickup that I did. The next one is a GameCube and Wii pickup. Now, uh, I was lucky to get these games for 20 bucks. She looked up the values of these games on eBay and then wanted to charge me the eBay prices for all of them. And that just totally, you know, blew me away. And I, I, if you do that, you're just like the worst kind of person because, you know, if you want to deal with eBay prices, then go ahead and sell your stuff on eBay. Don't try and charge us guys who are spending our gas to go to you and buy your stuff and you're not having to deal with, you know, people not liking the game or it not working and having to send it back and get a refund and having to send the money back. You're not having to deal with the post office and all the crap that they can pull and stuff getting damaged in the, in the you know, on the way there. You're not having to deal with even just waiting to sell it. You know, you're, I mean, I'm wanting to buy your stuff right here, right now, cold hard cash. Just, you know, don't do that. Oh, that goes for this on eBay, like, then go ahead and sell it on eBay. Don't waste my time. So, luckily I got these games, though. That's not my little, that's my little eBay rant, because, uh, yeah, don't do that. Um, anyways, the positive, positive is I got some games, I got some good games for 20 bucks. Starting off, we got 007 Agent Under Fire. We got Tarzan Untamed. Hell yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got Tack and the Power of Juju on the GameCube. We also got Shark Tale. We also got Madagascar. This one's in the best condition. There's not too many scratches. It actually works on the GameCube, so that's nice. We got Turok Evolution. Uh, like I said, if it's got a dinosaur on the cover or like dinosaurs in the game, I'm definitely wanting to play it because dinosaurs just intrigue me. Turok Evolution. The, I mean, and it's kind of a difficult game. I mean, it starts starts you off kind of right in the action, and you have to figure it out. And uh, it's, it's pretty difficult. It's awesome. Dinosaurs, hunting, great stuff. Metal Arms Glitch in the System, which is basically Ratchet and Clank for the GameCube and the Xbox. It is fairly difficult though because I'm stuck on this mission where you have to sneak around this huge army base. There's giant robots that are trying to shoot you and they have rocket launchers, missile launchers and stuff and you, you have to kind of run around the ramparts and climb these giant buildings and it's kind of hard to get through it. I'm stuck on it. A little nostalgia story about this one. I remember playing this way back at a friend's birthday party in like first grade and we were playing King of the Hill. Um, I just have this fond memory of it but I Afterwards, I can never remember what the name of this game was, and after years and years of thinking about it and like forgetting about it and remembering it, I finally discovered that it was Metal Arms Glitch in the System. These are the two recoupers that I'm going to sell and get my money back because, I mean, I already had both of these. I just upgraded the label that was in the case from mine because mine was a little sun faded. I also had a few other games, but I'm just going to trade those into the retro store. Um, they aren't really worth much or worth talking about. So. Now this is the finale. I got this on Mercari for a really good deal. This is something that you don't see every day and uh, it's probably really hard to come by in person because these were only released in Japan. This is the Panasonic Q controller. And the only way to get one of these was to uh, have it imported from Japan to America, so you're not gonna find one of these very often. The guy had it listed for 115, and I had a coupon for ten dollars off, and I had a bunch of credit saved up, so I had like eighty dollars worth on that. So I only paid like twenty bucks for this. So twenty dollars for a uh, Panasonic Q controller that was only released in Japan. Um, and it's, it's not even region locked. Like any controller that's from like Japan will work on a US console because they're all, the, the ports are the same. Gosh, this is my like, one of my heirloom items that I'm going to uh, have in my collection probably forever. I'm gonna put it in a case and display it. And uh, I'm super happy about this. All right guys, so I think, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Um, 
thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. Uh, leave a comment about your guys' recent pickups if you have any. Um, it's always cool to talk to you guys. Anyways, uh, take care. We'll see you next week. Um, rock on.